Let's explore vegetative propagation. It's a kind of asexual reproduction in plants without seeds, without the use of seeds. So then what do they use? They use vegetative parts like the stem, the root, or the leaves. For example, if you take a rose plant, what you can do is you can cut a stem and sow it, and then you add water and you know all the necessary stuff. It can grow into a new rose plant. This is a vegetative propagation because we use the vegetative part, the stem, not the seeds, to grow a new rose plant. Let's take another example. A classic example of this is called bryo, there's a plant called bryophyllum. And if you look carefully, you see on the surface of the leaves, on the edge of the leaves, there are tiny growths that are coming. They are new, tiny bryophyllum plants. They can each grow into new plants and when they become big enough, the whole leaf can fall and then you can have new plants coming out of it. Notice in this case, a leaf is being used for reproduction. And similarly, in other examples, you can use roots. A root can grow into a new individual. Now let's look at a few cool features of vegetative propagation. Well, the first cool feature of this is that well, it, it, it's the only way in which seedless plants can reproduce, right? I mean, if this did not exist, seedless plants wouldn't exist. They wouldn't be able to reproduce. So that's great. But guess what? Even the plants that have seed, they can also reproduce this way. In fact, that basically means any plants can reproduce this way. You may ask, what's the point? Why would we need to reproduce this way for seed, the plants that have seeds? Well, because this is an asexual reproduction, and in asexual reproduction, you get clones, you get perfect copies, and that could be useful for us. For example, imagine you have a big mango tree which has amazingly large, juicy mangoes. You want exact copy like that. Well, then you would want to do vegetative propagation because you know you're gonna get the exact copy. In sexual reproduction, you cannot guarantee that because you get mixed traits from the parents. So the advantage over here is the desired traits can be copied. And there's another advantage to using vegetative reproduction. Because there are no seeds, because there's no need to wait for germination, these plants will grow faster in this process, which means you'll get fruits and flowers faster. That's cool, right? So in summary, vegetative propagation is a kind of asexual reproduction, which happens from the vegetative parts, stem, roots, and leaves, not from the seeds a new individual can grow from stems or roots or leaves. Of course, in some cases, you need to provide the right kind of support, but once you do that, they have some amazing advantages.